Okay, in this video, <clears throat> we're going to be tying the chamois worm. I think one of the things that uh, really intrigued me and drew me to fly fishing and fly tying was the um, use of the natural materials like uh, deer hair, uh, pheasant tail, and so on and so forth. Um, being a hunter and an outdoorsman, it, it really intrigued me to be able to use all these natural furs. And a lot of people <clears throat> look down on, on such a fly like the, the chamois worm. But in a true sense of the word, it is a natural material. It's a leather material that um, was traditionally derived from a chamois, a uh, elk, or uh, excuse me, an antelope slash goat type of an animal over in Europe, but in more modern times now it, it comes from sheep, but basically it's a porous leather uh, made out of the skin of the animal. So we're going to tie this up and it's a very effective um, fly to use uh you know i'm like anybody i want to match the hatch and you know use what what the fish are feeding on but sometimes that's just not possible and uh and a fly like this can really catch a lot of fish when nothing else works so let's get started for the material for the sham worm, we have a piece of chamois leather. I cut a small section out of a chamois rag that I bought at a big box store. You're going to want to take a cutting board, a straight edge, and a sharp razor blade. And you're going to want to cut approximately eighth inch, eighth inch strip. So once you get it lined up, you take your short, your sharp razor blade, and cut your eighth inch strip. And you're going to want them to be approximately three inches long. So. You just take your razor blade and cut, cut that to about three inches. I already have that one cut at three, so we'll line it up. And there you have it. There's a couple pieces ready to tie. Okay, the hook I have in a vise is a size 14 scud caddis type hook. The thread we're going to be using is a Danville 3 aught wax monocord in white. So we'll start our thread just behind the hook eye. Wrap it back to where it's going to hang at the barb. And now I like to take a little bit of super glue, put a dab on there. And then we'll take our leather, and you'll see it's got a uh, dark side and a clear side, but we're going to put that on with the whiter side up. I'm sorry, the white side. And it'll kind of stick there with that super glue. 
Then I like to put a little bit of super glue on my thread. And it's a really durable fly. And then you just put some wraps forward. Trying to keep that material on the top. Then you pull it back, put some wraps in front of the material. And then we're going to do a whip finish. It takes no time to tie this. It takes you longer to get the material cut and ready. And you can take a dab of uh, super glue or head cement. And put it over the thread wraps in the front. And there you have it. That's your chamois worm. Please uh, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I thank you for watching.